Hello again. It's one of those uh, days where I've got a lot of material, so I'm going to make two uh, videos in one day here. Uh, more about endurance. I wrote uh, this uh, quite a few kind of lipsler uh, exercises because uh, they're so important. I like lipslers and it's fun for me to do these things. There are lots of great lipsler books out there. Uh, you know, the Bailin published by Balquitter is good. Uh, uh, Jimmy Stamp has some uh, warm up and etudes published by BIM. Uh, James Thompson in his book. Um, Claude Gordon has some great ones. Uh, Carl Fisher publication uh, was it daily, uh, was it systematic approach. That's one of his great books that has uh, daily routines is the other one that has a lot of uh, lip slurs in it. And I, over the internet, there's some wonderful ones I've purchased. Uh, I wish I could remember all the names. But anyway, here's one that I wrote. It's kind of easy. And... Etc. Etc. Uh, so it kind of combines lip slurs with a glissando, and the first person to work with me on the glissando kinds of slurs to the upper register was Claude Gordon. He's got that in a couple of his books. Uh, I forgot to mention in the Jim Thompson book, the first time through on that other exercise, he always does uh, on the on the buzzing. On the, I use the burp, but you can use whatever you want to make it work. Uh, so that's another great way to. Uh, uh, build up your chops, of course, is to buzz it first, play it the second time. I think there's a Rene Lomar exercise I included in one of my videos that does that sort of thing. But this exercise combines the lip slurs uh, with a glissando into the upper register. Combine all these kinds of things when you're doing your practicing in the upper register. Uh, I would also, I really like the uh, Claude Gordon studies. That, um, <laughs> You can tell I did that. Picked an easy one. Uh, I don't want to take too many chances. I have a anyway. That's good one to start with. But I used to do it low F sharp all the way up as high as I could. You notice the first time through I held the top note. Uh, I love Jimmy Stamp. Uh, second time through was slurred. I might do it a third time through single tongue. Another time through a double tongue. And then, and then I did a lip bend, didn't I? Went. Uh, so I could make sure I was placed the next to the last note in the right position. Sometimes when you miss a note, a top note, it's not the top note that you're missing, it's the note just prior. You may be sharp. Sure. 
In other words, I'm anticipating the top note, which I shouldn't do. And that's one of the things Jim Thompson talks about. Don't anticipate the top note. Jimmy talks about that. He's got this thing that goes like that, which means don't anticipate the top note. Should be no indication whatsoever what direction you're headed. So that's uh, another kind of interesting uh, uh, principle to employ when you're going into the upper register and working on endurance. Make sure, you, again, you're playing in the center of your sound. Uh, for me, that's important so I can get the best sound and uh, have the most endurance. Okay, well, that's got to be enough for today. Enjoy it, isn't it? It's not an instrument of torture. It's a great thing to have and spend some time with. Uh, it's part of the, the mystery is what I love about playing trumpet, how to play better. It's, 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 it's not a slam dunk. It's, nobody gives it to you. You have to work on it. Teachers can help point the direction, but you ultimately have to figure it out for yourself. Okay, well, that's enough for today. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Bill Bink's Trumpet Talk. And uh, keep blowing. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.